Hi friends, this is Deep Basu, and I'm back again. And I'm going to review the film Oh My God 2. And believe you me, I even Kartik 2 has released, and I was really not expecting any of this film to do well. And I'm quite uh, surprised, happy, and taken aback that both the films are doing so well. And yesterday it was really funny when uh, I was discussing with my family which movie to watch. All of us were so confused because what to which one to watch? Or both the films have garnered great reviews. But since I like the first installment of Oh My God, I really wanted to go ahead and watch it. And I really like the trailer of Oh My God. And I do uh, look up to Pankaj Tripathi as a really good actor. The of Oh My God Two is pretty simple. But the good part of the trailer cut of Oh My God Two is that it didn't it doesn't give out much of the story. So I was really looking forward to watch it. I knew this movie was revolving around sex education and the awareness. but i still want to watch how a hindi film a very commercial hindi film you know showcases such topic so the story uh, of oh my god 2 revolves around the simple man kanti sharan mudgal played by the brilliant pankaj tripathi he's a family man he's a doting husband he's a father he's a father of two kids and uh, he is a staunch devotee of lord shiva So his life is pretty simple and happy, and he has no demands. And every day he goes to the temple, he goes to his work. And meanwhile, his both his kids are doing pretty well in, in uh, basically uh, studying in convent school. So everything is pretty simple and happy in his life. Suddenly, his life, his happy life, is shattered when his son Vivek is caught by the school authorities doing something immoral. and he suddenly thrown out of the school so this is the turning point in his life so when he uh, later discusses with his son and he comes to know that his son was actually uh, masturbating and that's the reason he was caught masturbating and that's the reason he was asked to leave the school he was rusticated so but masturbation is not the problem the problem later when he finds out he gets into the details he gets to know that his son is basically you know has uh, fallen prey to misinformation about the topic sex i'm sure most of us were at that age even now i'm sure many uh, kids in school are pretty misinformed about the topic the word sex because most most of us most of the kids in today's time are misguided they watch pornography they read wrong articles isn't it the responsibility of the school to start a sex sex education as a subject so that all the kids at the time of their foundation building they get to know something about sex education something about good touch bad touch so this is actually the entire movie is all about so his son is basically falls prey to misinformation and the entire taboo around sex people usually don't talk about it if you ask your parents you ask your professor they will dis- uh, discard you as someone filthy they will discard you as someone pervert If you ask them about sex or some anything related to sex, they'll say, "You're you're you're still young." But don't you think all this should begin when you are young, openly? If you discuss with your kids about sex or the education or any kind of you know any such sub topics, your kids will be more informed in the future. Because otherwise, there are a lot of people, a lot of marketers who are basically feeding in a lot of misinformation. So this is what happens to his son, and his son basically gets into depression. So after that, his uh, Kanti's entire world gets shattered. He decides to call it quits because everyone looks down upon them. This is in some home being a pervert, so he decides to call it quits and leave his hometown. But all of a sudden, there is a divine intervention. He bumps into Shivji, a very own Akshay Kumar, who guides him, and that's how Kanti musters up all the courage to fight the school authorities and fight each and every one who is responsible for his son's plight. and how he takes up his son's case he's not even a professional lawyer and how he fights like a father so this is the mota moti story of oh my god too and i really loved it i liked it better than the first part and i loved the way how entertainment education strong message was very well blended into the script the script and the screenplay the dialogues were marvelous and even the performances and special mention goes to yami gautam and she was very good she was very good very charming very well then and also special mention goes to akshay kumar akshay kumar is kind of extended cameo just like the first part he doesn't have a very full fledged role he is the shivji 
who is guiding the main protagonist uh, Kanti Sharan Mudgal and how he helps and guides him to seek redemption. So what happens, how he fights, you need to watch it. It's a must watch. Even the songs are quite good, very well composed. So overall, this movie is a great package of entertainment, strong message, dialogues, performance. Though the runtime is quite long, but somewhat you will not get very bored watching it. It's quite gripping towards the end. And like any other courtroom dramas, it has its own uh, share of comic, good dialogues, punchlines. And talking about court dramas, I should give also a special mention uh, to Pavan Manotra, who is a judge, who plays the judge in this film. And he is so brilliant. He is just so brilliant. So even a good performances escalate the film. So overall, Oh My God 2 is a must watch. It's a very important film. It talks about a very important topic, sex education. And it's high time sex education as a topic, as a subject should be incorporated, implemented by all these schools. See, sex doesn't mean vulgar. It means how you say it and how you show it is what basically, you know, gives, states what is vulgar. Order. See, actually, sex is not vulgar. It's very important. Is how you say, how you talk about it, how you showcase it, it's what makes it well. So, so this is my review for Oh My God 2. Please watch it. Tomorrow, hopefully, I'm watching Gadar 2. I will review it. So, a must watch. So, please don't have preconceived notions like, it's a good film. And uh, director Amitra has done a brilliant job. I have not seen any of his previous work, but as this movie, if I have to say, he has done a brilliant job. A must must watch.